in today's topic you will learn about purpose of marketing research example of marketing techniques types of researches in marketing research marketing research designs and steps for conducting market research dear learners the designs of a research study depends upon the purpose for which it is being done the purpose will decide what data has to be collected and the population from which the data will be collected the purpose of marketing research is all of these forms of marketing research can be classified at either problem identification research or as problem solving research thus marketing research techniques they come in many forms the example of some of such can be like there are also so many forms but uh, we will take few first is ad tracking periodic or continuous in market research to monitor the brand's performance using measures such as brand awareness brand preference and brand usage number 2 advertising research used to predict copy testing or track the efficacy of advertisements or for any medium measured by the ads ability to get attentions measured with attention tracking communicate the message build the brand image and motivate the consumer to purchase the product or service brand awareness research the extent to which consumers can recall or recognize a brand name or product name one more example brand association research what do consumers associate with the brands brand attribute research what are the key traits that describe the brand promise brand name testing what do consumers feel about names of their products brand decision making process to determine what motivates people to buy and what decision making process the use over the last decade neuro marketing emerges from the convergence of neuroscience and marketing aiming to understand the consumer decision making process one more consumer eye tracking research examine advertisement package design website etc by analyzing visual behavior of the consumer concept testing to test the acceptance of a concept by target consumers one more cool hunting also known as trend spotting to make observation and predictions in changes of new or existing cultural trends in areas such as fashion music films television youth culture and lifestyle research marketing search for copy testing predicts in market performance of and add before it airs by analyzing audience level of attention brand image motivation entertainment and communication as well as breaking down the ads flow of attention and flow of emotions marketing research for customer satisfaction research quantitative and qualitative studies that yields an understanding of a customer satisfaction with a transaction demand estimation put that in mind the approximate level of demand for the product distribution channel audit to assess distributors and retailers attitudes towards a product brand or company internet strategic intelligence searching for customer opinion in the internet chat forum web pages blogs where people express freely about their experiences with products becoming strong opinion forms marketing effectiveness and analytics building models and measuring results to determine the effectiveness of individual marketing activities mystery consumer or mystery shopping an employee or representative of the market research firm anonymously contacts a sales person and indicates he or she is shopping for a product the shopper then records the entire experience this method is often used for quality control or for researching competitors products positioning research how does the target market see the brand relative to competitors what is the brand stands for price elasticity testing 
to determine how sensitive customers are to price changes. Sales forecasting to determine expected level of sales given the level of demand with respect to other factors like advertising, expenditures, sales promotion, etc. Segmentation research to determine the demographic, psychographic, cultural, and behavior characteristics of potential buyers. Online panel a group of individuals who accepted to respond to marketing research online. Store audit to measure the sales of a product or product line at the statistically selected store samples in order to determine market share or to determine whether a retail store provides adequate service or not. Test marketing. A small scale product launch used to determine the likely acceptance of the product when it is introduced in a wider market. Viral marketing research. This kind of research is referred to marketing research designed to estimate the probability that specific communications will be transmitted throughout an individual's social networks. It is estimates of social networking potential or SNP are combined with estimates of selling effectiveness to estimate ROI on specific combinations of messages and media. Methodologically, marketing research uses the following types of the researches. One is brain based on questions or based on questioning like qualitative marketing research generally used for exploratory purpose, small number of respondents, not generalizable to the whole population, statistically significance and confidence not calculated, example include focus group, in depth interviews or projective techniques. Quantitative marketing research, it is generally used to draw conclusions. That's the specific hypothesis uses random sampling techniques so as to infer from the sample to the population. It involves a large number of respondents, example, include survey and questionnaires techniques. They include choice modeling, maximum difference, preference, scaling, and covariance analysis. Based on observations, the studies based on observation are ethnographic studies by nature qualitative. The researcher observes social phenomena in their natural setting. Observation can occur cross-sectionally. Observations made at one time and longitudinally. Observations occur over several time periods. Examples include product use analysis and computer cookie traces. Ethnography and observational techniques like experimental techniques by nature quantitative the researcher creates a quasi artificial environment to try to control spurious factors then manipulates at least one of the variables example include like, like purchase laboratories and test markets secondary research by nature it is qualitative research the researcher gathers information by assessing online and offline sources of information. These sources can be publicly available. One example include the Office of National Statistics in the maybe any country like UK or data.gov.in or US or private sources of information. Examples include uh, textbooks and reports that are behind the paywall. Researchers often use more than one research design. They may start with secondary research to get background information, then conduct a focus group qualitative research design to explore the issue. Finally, they might do a full nationwide survey or maybe quantitative research design in order to devise specific recommendations for the client or for company. Types of marketing research design. There are generally three types of marketing research design and these are one is exploratory, descriptive and casual. Exploratory research is used in obtaining primarily information that will help identify the problems and hypothesis. 
It is done to understand what is happening and why something is happening. Some of the most common methods of exploratory research are focus groups, interviews, literature research like library, newspaper, magazine, trade publications and online, and case analysis. Group interaction interview is the difference between a one person interview. Individuals in a focus group should match the target market or audience that the client desired to get insight from. Descriptive research is used to identify the marketing problem and all the potential for a market. This type of research is used to identify the characteristics of the target group or the average user of the product or service. Descriptive research will allow us to make specific predictions and notice a correlation among various variables. There are two types of descriptive studies and they are cross-sectional studies and longitudinal studies. A cross-sectional study involves a sample of the market population at a certain point in time. A longitudinal study involves a panel of fixed samples of element at a certain point in time. An example of a longitudinal study would involve the manufacturer, distributors, individual stores and consumers. Any one of these elements can be replaced with another. In other words, the distributor can be of new management or the department store can be a competitor. In a longitudinal study, there are two types of panels. And they are continuous panel and discontinuous panels. In most scenarios, panels members are compensated in one fashion or another for their efforts. In a continuous panel, a study relies on a fixed sample of respondents who are measured repeatedly over time under the same conditions. In a discontinuous panel, the study relies on the fixed samples of respondents who are measured under various conditions over time. Casual research is marketing research done to test a particular hypothesis, the cause and effect of a hypothesis. For example, casual research may be used in a business setting to quantify the effect that a change will have on its current operations and what it will have on future production level to assist in the business planning process. Dear learners, let's discuss about the steps of conducting various marketing research. Knowing that to do in various situations that arise during the investigation will serve the researcher's time and reduce problems. Today, successful enterprises use powerful marketing research survey software that helps them conduct comprehensive research under a unified platform and hence provide actionable insights much faster with fewer problems. Following steps are generally conducted to conduct an effective market research. Step 1. One is define the problem. Having a well-defined subject of research will help researchers when they ask questions. These questions should be directed to solve problems and they have to be adapted to make project. Make sure that these questions are written clearly and that the respondent understands them. Researchers can conduct a test with a small group to know if the questions are going to know whether the asked questions are understandable and will they be enough to gain insightful results? Research objective should be written in a precise way and should include a brief description of the information that is needed and the way in which it will obtain it. They should have an answer to this question, why are we doing the research? Step 2. Define the sample. To carry out market research, researchers need a representative sample that can be collected using one of the many sampling techniques. A representative sample is a small number of people that reflect as accurately as possible a larger group. An organization cannot waste their resources in collecting information from the wrong population. 
it is important that the population represents characteristics that matters to the researchers and that they need to investigate or in the chosen sample next step is take into account that marketers will always be prone to fall into a bias in the sample because there will always be people who do not answer the survey because they are busy or answer it completely so researchers may not obtain the required data regarding the size of the sample the larger it is the more likely it is to be representative of the population a larger representative sample gives the researcher greater certainty that the people included are the ones they need and they can possibly reduce bias therefore if they want to avoid inaccuracy in our surveys they should have representative and balanced samples practically all the survey that are considered in a serious way are based on a scientific sampling based on statistical and probability theories there are two ways to obtain a representative sample one is probability sampling in probability sampling the choice of the sample will be made at random which guarantees that each member of the population will have the same probability of selection and inclusion in the sample group researcher should ensure that they have updated information on the population from which they will draw the sample and surveys the majority to establish representativeness non probability sampling in a non probability sampling different types of people are seeking to obtain a more balanced representative sample knowing the demographic characteristics of our group will undoubtedly help to limit the profile of the desired sample and define the variables that interest the researchers such as gender age place of residence etc etc by knowing these criteria before obtaining the information researchers can have the control to create a representative sample that is efficient for us when a sample is not representative there can be a margin of error if researchers want to have a representative sample of 100 employees they should choose a similar number of men and women the sample size is survey important but it does not guarantee accuracy more than size representative inness is related to the sampling frame that is to list from which people are selected for example part of a survey if researchers want to continue expanding their knowledge on how to determine the size of sample consult a guide on sampling here step 3 carry out data collection first a data collection instrument should be developed the fact that they do not answer a survey or answer it completely because will cause errors in research the correct collection of data will prevent this step four analyze the result each of the points of the market research process is linked to one another if all the error is executed well but there is no accurate analysis of the results and then the decisions make consequently appropriate in that the analysis conducted without leaving loose ends will be effective in gaining solutions data analysis will be captured in a report which should also be written clearly so that effective decisions can be made on that basis analyze and interpret the result is to look for a wider meaning to the obtained data all the previous phases have been developed to arrive at this moment how can we search and measure the obtained result the only quantitative data that will be obtained is age gender profession and the number of interviews because the rest are emotions and experiences that have been transmitted to us by the interlocutors for this there is a tool called empathy map that forces us to put ourselves in the place of our client with the aim of being able to identify really the characteristics that will allow us to make a better adjustment
between her products and services and their needs or interest. When the research has been carefully planned, the hypotheses have been adequately defined and the indicated collection method has been used. The interpretation is usually carried out easily and successfully. What follows after conducting market research? It is the step number five. Make the research report. When presenting the result, the researcher should focus on what do they want to achieve using this research report. And while answering this question, they should not assume that the structure of the survey is the best way to do the analysis. One of the big mistakes that many researchers make is that they present the report in the same order of their questions and do not see the potential of storytelling. To make good reports, the best analysis gives the following advice. Follow the inverted pyramid style to present the result. Answering at the beginning, the essential questions of the uh, businesses that cause the investigation start with the conclusion and give them fundamentals instead of accumulating evidence. After this, researchers can provide details of the readers who have the time and interest. Step number six, make decisions. An organization or a researcher should never ask why do market research. They should just do it. A market research helps researchers to know a wide range of information. For example, consumer purchase intentions or gives feedbacks about the growth of the target market. They can also discover valuable information that will help in estimating the price of their product or service and find a point of balance that will benefit them and the consumers. Dear learners, let's sum up this topic. Designing a marketing research, why it is needed. Let's sum up in, in it in a, another manner. Say there is a population and you wanted to know the characteristics of that population. But it's not possible for a small business or maybe a bigger business to go for whole population. If we wanted to test, we wanted to check the characteristics of the whole population, that particular concept is known as census survey. So what, what can be done in that sense? Here comes the importance of the sampling. Because in a sample, you wanted the sample must be a true representative of the whole population. It must give you accurate result or if not very accurate, then the characteristics of the sample must be as much as equivalent to the characteristics of the whole population. So this is the main criteria of the sampling. So in this sampling, we have the many aspects like probability sampling, non-probability sampling, there are cluster sampling, there are numerous, maybe, maybe a due course of the time you will come to know about the different types of the sampling and different, that how much should be the sample size, this is also very important. Sometimes the population, because sample size has to be a true representative of the whole population. Sometimes the sample size is uh, or can be identified on the basis of the quota. Sometimes that sample size can be basis on the maybe the percentage. But what will happen if your population is infinite? Then there is a point. Now what to do if your population is infinite? How your sample can be too representative? So many researchers they have given us some ideas how to calculate certain kinds of the sample sizes. So to once again to sum up the whole process of this marketing research is first is it starts with a problem identification or problem description. The first you understand the problem, only then you can find out, only then you can go ahead with the whole decision making process. 
बिकॉज द डिसीजन डिपेंड्स अपॉन द होल प्रोसेस Normally, it is said that in a decision making process, there are four steps. One is define problem. Second is seek alternative. Third one is choose best one. Fourth one is implement. And fifth is all about uh, feedback. So this marketing research also have the all the spirit of the this concept of the decision making because in marketing research, what we do. we wanted to arise we wanted to help the establishment to take a decisions thank you